Well, meteorologist Kirsten Lang, there's a threat for some severe storms later on this evening as showers and thunderstorms will be rolling through the area. Biggest threat remains to our west, closer to that I-35 corridor up near Ponca City and then also portions of western and central western Oklahoma. But Tulsa is under that slight risk for potentially seeing severe storms develop uh, as well. And the main threat with the storms is going to be the potential for some damaging winds with gusts up to 70 to 80 miles per hour, and then also some larger hailstones possible with these storms. But I think wind is going to really be that main threat. A chance of an isolated tornado is not zero, but it's pretty low uh, with these storms as they roll through. So we're going low on the tornadoes, but a moderate to high risk on hail and wind damage, and then flooding also a concern. And not only because we're looking at... Uh, some heavy rainfall with isolated storms as they roll through, but it's the number of storms that'll be rolling through because it's kind of several rounds that just kind of roll on through eastern Oklahoma over the next 24 to 36 hours. All right, so the first wave looks like it's going to be later on this evening. This model brings it in closer to about 1030. It could be a little bit even earlier than that, call it 930 or so, but be aware that around after the sun goes down, a round of storms will come through with the possibility for some of those as severe storms with some damaging winds. So there's that possibility. Then another kind of little round behind that. That's early in the morning. That's 1 a.m. So middle of the night continues on through. And notice the pattern of these storms continues from I-44 north towards the state line with Kansas. And so that area is going to have the highest rainfall totals, of course, with the possibility of two to three inches. And that also kind of lingers down into Tulsa. Tulsa could have anywhere from one to two, I'm going to call it closer to about two inches or so of rain over the next several days as these storms just roll right on through. So tomorrow morning, it's going to be a wet commute. You're going to have lots of rain on the ground, possibly some localized flooding in spots because we've already had a lot of rain and then heavy rainfall coming down. So expect tomorrow morning's commute to be uh, definitely a, a wet one and slow. Then most of that should move out, uh, but there's another chance still for having a little bit of that uh, rain kind of lingering also as we head into Friday um, as well. Other than that, then heading towards the weekend, uh, it looks like things shape up pretty nicely. Uh, we are going to have a little bit of a warm up, though, as we head to the weekend and those temperatures are going to be getting back up into the 80s. Maps even showing some 90s because we're inching, of, co of, close, uh, of, of course, in towards that Memorial Day weekend and we're going towards the summer. So, you know, it's being expected. But uh, gosh, on Tuesday, it's just beautiful weather Tuesday. Still Thursday, look for temps in the 70s because of the showers. That's why the temps stay down. But then once that all moves out and that sun comes out, just expect those temperatures are going to start rolling on up. We're going to be looking for 80s and 90s heading into the weekend.